Good morning Gearfax friends and welcome to my second video about the new Casio CTS 200. Very interesting new keyboard from Casio. In this one we'll take a closer and more critical look at its rhythms, sounds and features. And features are probably a good place to start because it is noticeably physically different from previous models. And I have to say I was immediately pleased by the new screen format that Casio is using. It is so simple and so straight to the point. It cuts out a lot of the nonsense that was on the old screens, like the treble clefts and the finger diagrams that were often on them. Nobody really looked at those and I think Casio has recognized that and cancelled out those features. So we've got three buttons at the bottom. So if I want to choose a rhythm, for example, just select rhythm choose what I want and the buttons now replace the fill in functions and the pattern change functions. So it's all very simple and logical. When you want to go back to your main screen, you just press home and we're back on rhythm song dance as our key options there. And this is the name of the sound that we're on. And again, it's just a turn of the very ergonomic dial to very quickly choose through sounds. The buttons on the front panel again are very simple in nature. Obviously we've got on off and volume there, that's simple. I would have rather have had a dial for volume but these push buttons are perfectly acceptable. In the function mode you'll notice you've got left and right arrows there and these two buttons allow you to cycle through all your function options. There's also a my setup function and this invites you to save or load things via USB. So if you've got your own songs, anything like that, anything that's personalized that can all be saved and reloaded in the my setup section. The sustain function can be switched on and off with one touch and you can also change the function of your sustain pedal in the function menu. Our options are sustain, sostenuto, soft or the start stop of the rhythm. Just going back, I want to take you a couple of steps back here to our effects section. There are several different kinds of reverb. No digital signal processor or chorus effect or anything like that as we've often seen in other variations from Casio in the past. But anyway, exiting that takes us back to the home screen. And the last two buttons I haven't talked about yet are just tempo change and the play stop button for the rhythms. One really notable design feature is this excellent handle built into the top of the keyboard. Really easy to move it around. And another big difference is the quality of the key touch. So much better than previous CTK models. Also an improvement on the CTX models, which are considered a bit flagship in this year, 2019. The reason I like these keys, apart from their slightly matte luster kind of finish on top, which is nice at a touch, they're just less noisy when you're playing. I know I've got the volume turned right down. But we don't get so much nasty key click. The speakers in this new model are much smaller, or well, they seem much smaller than previous models. They sound quite tinny by comparison, but for quick easy practice with no accessories, they're perfectly good. On the back of the keyboard we've got a battery option just as you'd expect. On the rear there's the pedal socket, USB, power in, headphones, and an auxiliary in which is kind of handy. It's got really nice contoured round edges. This is great because that's less shock if you happen to drop it on the ground. A round edge will take the fall much better. And also it's much easier to slip it in and out of bags and cases. I think round edges really make life easier in a lot of ways. And it's subtle design changes like this that make the new CTS series quite endearing to look at and to operate. But how good does it sound? In the last demo we had a look at some sounds and beats, but this time we're going to go much deeper into the dance rhythm function, which is very exciting, and also some of the more extreme sounds. Hope you enjoy this demo.
gonna drop it. Satisfaction. Yeah, yeah. Satisfaction. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, hey. What? 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 Thank you.
So my final word on the Casio CT-S200, well, I do like it. It's excellent to touch and use. Its functionality has been greatly improved by Casio over the previous models. Sound-wise, I'm not quite as blown away. The dance rhythm section is actually exactly the same as previous models, as far as I can tell. There's a few new sounds, and some sounds have been slightly improved, but overall, again, it's a fairly lackluster sort of a sound engine. Definitely a beginner's instrument. People using this keyboard for more serious applications, like playing in a band or working in a studio, will definitely want to add some effects or probably upgrade to a different keyboard. I do also wish it had a pitch bend wheel, and frankly I think it's a little bit overpriced. But then again, it is a brand new model for 2019, and it's definitely something that's worth looking at in your music store. So check it out. Thanks for watching Gear Facts. Please like, comment, or subscribe. Hit me up with any questions that you've got, and I'll see you on the next one.